I'm Drudder and today is August the 26th, 2013 and I'd like to make a comment and upload it about war and the US is talking about going into Syria and starting another war and this is going to be involving a lot of countries Canada, France, Britain, Russia, Israel, Iran have all taken sides in this war and it's about to be unleashed apparently so um, this is my understanding anyway, and I would like you to correct me if you believe I'm wrong on any of this. I'm simplifying it greatly, but this is what I see uh, as having been happening in that region in the last little while. The U.S. has been trying to go into Syria for many years, and recently has been funding and arming Al-Qaeda in Syria, which they refer to as the rebels, but if you look a little closer, it's indeed Al-Qaeda, or a branch of Al-Qaeda, and they've been trying to destabilize the government for a long time, and many thousands have died there. Somebody recently released chemical weapons and brutally killed somewhere around an additional thousand people uh, about uh, almost a week ago now in Syria, and the Syrian government blames the Al-Qaeda rebels and has agreed to allow in UN weapons inspectors. The US says they're lying and that they have used chemical weapons and will be punished with unrelenting airstrikes and they're moving in their warships and um, getting ready to do so. The UK agrees with the US and will join in and has sent their warships and uh, planes to drop bombs on that country as well. Russia and Iran have backed Syria. Meanwhile, Canada and France have backed the US and the UK. Let me know if that's not how you see it, and if you have any other information, I'd appreciate reading that. And now I'm going to play some footage of US Representative John Kerry stating the US knows Syria has used chemical weapons and therefore must be bombed to pieces without delay. One reason why the news out of the UN didn't change much is because uh, the Iraqis claim that they have no, in that letter, agreeing to the return of the weapons inspector, they claim that they have no weapons of mass destruction. Everyone knows that's a lie. Sorry, what's that? Oh, I'm using the wrong footage. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Apparently I was using 10-year-old footage that was John McCain, not John Kerry, about 10 years ago, and he was talking not about Syria, but about Iraq. I apologize for that. Here's the correct footage. This is about the large-scale, indiscriminate use of weapons that the civilized world long ago decided must never be used at all, a conviction shared even by countries that agree on little else. I wonder if he's talking about the depleted uranium, which is nuclear waste that was put into every round fired into Iraq in the past 10 years. Anyhow. As a father, I can't get the image out of my head of a man who held up his dead child, wailing while chaos swirled around. That's what they call an emotional appeal. It has no basis in fact. It's just appealing to your emotions. Hey, if you don't want to kill children and see them suffer, you're with us, right? The images of entire families dead in their beds Emotional without a drop appeal. of blood or even a visible wound. Bodies contorting in Emotional spasms. appeal. Human suffering that we can never ignore or forget. Emotional appeal. Anyone who could claim that an attack of this staggering scale could be contrived or fabricated needs to check their conscience and their own moral compass. There's no one claiming that these attacks were contrived. He's making a straw man argument, which is very easily defeated. He's saying, if you think chemical weapons weren't used, then you got something else coming to you. We're going to bomb the shit out of you. Well, no one actually said that. So he's making a straw man argument, and he's using emotional appeal to try and bolster support for a new war. I reject that outright. I don't think that we know who let loose the chemical weapons and going into a country that we really don't understand and don't belong in in order to blow people up and kill people and try and get justice for what happened is just going to result in more people dying. We did the same thing in Iraq 10 years ago and over a million people died. 
Most of them were innocent. The U.S. and allies, including Canada, are doing the same thing in other countries, including Libya, which is now pretty much wrapped up. Uh, we had a hand in other places like Egypt. We've been in all kinds of different countries in the Middle East over the past 10 years. And I'm just really tired of it, and I think that this war is just going to keep on going. And it doesn't really matter to the U.S. who is responsible. They are just going to keep on dropping bombs. McCain lied about weapons of mass destruction to get us into Iraq, and a lot of people died there. And now Kerry's doing the exact same thing about weapons of mass destruction in Syria and justifying another million people, probably more, dying. I won't have any of it. This blood's not on my hands. My tax dollars may be going to drop bombs on those people, but I have absolute 100% protest against that. I hope this rant makes it clear what my stance on this is. And uh, I'm, I'm tired of the war. I'm sick of people dying. I don't think it's the right way to deal with problems. I don't think that we can bring anyone back by killing more people. And uh, I'm sick of my tax dollars being dropped on people overseas. This is disgusting. I want to support peace, and I want to support the concept of truth, and I don't think there's any of it at all going on here right now.